This is a cool little golf cart mod for BeamNG. It's the Abishu Putteron and it's based on the Abishu Widgeon. Now we've got golf clubs on the back, seating for four, and the pop-up headlights from the Widgeon. Isn't that awesome? And this thing has a top speed of about 30 kilometers per hour. Let's take it for a quick test drive and then move on to some really special variants of this thing. As you can see, does it handle the bumps well? Whoa. Oh, the golf clubs are fine, they're still on the back. There we go. Now the interior, as you can see, is very basic. We've got a steering wheel, a throttle, a brake, and a handbrake. Handbrake work? Yeah, look at that thing. And a gear shift, that's pretty much it. Here we go. So 30 kilometers per hour, it's just under 20 miles per hour top speed. Not very fast. Perfect for a golf course, which we'll be driving on later. But look at this thing. It still handles pretty well. And four wheels, you know, it is better handling than the Widgeon because it's got those four wheels. Here we go. Yeah. But that less than 20 mile per hour top speed isn't brilliant for driving around an island like this. So let's try a modified variant. This is the modified club variant. It's got a delimited gearbox. We've got this pretty cool mud tire kind of thing going on. Let's take this thing for a spin. Oh, and on the back, we've got these handling bags. So it's just some ballast at the back to make it handle better, some weight at the back there. Let's go up here. Yeah. Whoa, the turning circle is not amazing. Oh, come on. Go, go, go. Widgeon engine is struggling up here, but here we go. How fast can we get on the road? Okay, here we go, out onto the open road, and it's going pretty fast. That's 33 miles per hour. Not bad. And you can take this thing off-road, and it's actually okay. Look, she does actually handle okay. Not too bad. Let's go off-road. Whoa. Yeah, the dirt tires are doing pretty well. I think it's just like a rear-wheel drive kind of thing. Whoa, turn. There we go. How does the handbrake work? Whoa, it's getting a bit rough over here. This is not designed for a golf cart, but she's handling it like a trooper. I always find it funny when golf carts have a petrol engine. This just has a straight free engine and a one-speed auto. So it's not an electric golf cart, but maybe the mod creator could make an electric version. That'd be cool. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. There you go, we crashed it a bit. Another cool feature of the golf cart is that it can actually be fitted with a tow hitch so we can connect up to this trailer. Now we're carrying a sofa around. Is it going to be any good at pulling it? The sofa isn't that heavy, but then again, this isn't very powerful. Oh, yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, we're at top speed, doing pretty well going through the tunnel. It feels fairly stable. Doesn't seem to wobble about at all. So it's a pretty good tow hitch back there at the right kind of height. Oh, it's really good fun driving this thing in third person. We're quite far out, aren't we? We can zoom in a bit. Right, let's go for a big crash. What can we crash into? Onto the beach. Here we go. Whoa! There we go. The sofa. Oh, one of the cushions fell off. And we're going into the water. Oh, dear. Oh, sunken golf cart. And this version has a widgeon chassis. It's got the freewheel trike going on. So let's go and do a big crash test with this thing. Uh, are we going to bump up here okay on the free wheels? Yeah, we are. Okay. Pop up headlights we've got to have. There we go. Lovely. Okay. I'm going to crash into that building there. Or maybe... Ah, uh, yeah, let's do it. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> that was the worst crash test in the world. Wow. And we're stuck in a bush. Now, this is the race variant. It's got a stripped down body. We haven't got any back seats, but we've got a straight four engine in the actual cabin area. And look at that radiator there. Now, this thing goes insanely quick. Here we go. Whoa. Manual gearbox, unlike the other variants. Oh, my goodness. This is really hard to handle, so it's not got very good brakes, not good, got very good steering. Oh, okay, here we go. Whoa, and it's the suspension. Oh my goodness, I think it's still got the same golf cart suspension. What's the fastest of a golf cart has ever gone? Because this is probably close to it. Whoa, we're doing 70 miles per hour on this little road, which is harder than any vehicle. Here we go. Bouncy, bouncy. Whoa, jump. Oh my goodness. Brake, 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 brake. No! Oh dear, and we've fallen off a cliff. Wow. Okay, it doesn't turn. It just doesn't turn. Oh, what I love about this mod is that you can just tell it was totally made for fun. I mean, with a name like Ibishu Putteron, come on. But this thing really goes pretty fast. Oh, and yeah, oh, it's just a fun, fun driving experience. And I can't wait to try this in multiplayer at some point. Oh, big jump here? No, tiny little jump. And. We need to be going a bit faster to hit that jump. Here we go. Oh, off the beach. 
The brakes barely work, I might as well not use them. Oh, we're in the water. Okay, let's take this thing to a golf course. So we are at the Heaton Park map. Now this is a recreation of a real park in the United Kingdom and it has a golf course on it. So this whole area is like a cool golf course. Now we're gonna drive around and you might remember in the game GTA Vice City, there's a mission where you have to kill someone that's driving around on a golf buggy. So we're gonna try and recreate that mission. I'm gonna get this blue uh, golf buggy to chase me and let's get going. We're in the modified off-roady variant because I think it's best. Chase me, go, go, go. Right, go, oh my God, he's coming for me. So he's only got a top speed of 30 miles per hour but the race variant just wouldn't work on this map, I'm sure. Oh, so it's a kind of a cool golf course, a recreation of a real life park and then within that park, they've got somewhere you can go and play golf. It might be like a private club, so yeah, whoa. Is he gonna get through the trees? I think he is. I don't know. Is he coming? Yeah, he's not, he's not very fast, is he? Oh, he's, no! He's catching up. It's actually kind of sinister looking back and seeing him back there. Oh my goodness. Whoa, there's a tree line. Let's try and spin around, try and dodge him. Yes, look at that, that's so cool. Oh yeah, we can drift in this thing. Yeah, look at this thing, no! Oh, he hit me, he hit me. So you've got to kind of wreck and roll over the um, gold buggy in the GTA Vice City mission. So let's try and roll him over. On drift, 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 drift. Yes, there we go. No. Oh, that's a big wreck. Reverse. Oh, I think we're merged together. That's never a good sign. Come on. Oh, the game can't handle it. <laughs> yes, I'm free. I'm free. I used the node grabber to free myself. Okay. Whoa, it's not driving very well now. It feels a little bit wonky. Oh, look at the light. Does the light still work? Yeah, I really love that they kept the... Um, the headlights in there. I mean, there's no need for them to be pop up, but it's still really cool. The ballast is working well. Yeah, we're getting away now. I think he's more wrecked than I am. Try and avoid all the bunkers, because that'll be bad. Oh, yes. I've got a bit lost. I don't know where he is. But here we go. Oh, I found a path. Is that a bunker or a path? Where is he? Where the heck did he go? Oh, have we lost him? Break. Stop. Where the heck is he? Oh, look, he's coming through the tree line. Look, here he comes. Come on. Let them catch up. Yeah, it seems to be quite slow, the AI, but um, you can still have some fun. Imagine this in multiplayer, it'd be really cool. Go, 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 go. Come on. Oh, there they go. It's, been, it's a golf buggy chase for real now. But here we go, another little challenge. I've now got six golf buggies chasing me. So let's do chase me and go. Are they coming? They go quite slow, but they are, uh-oh. They're all gonna crash into each other. They're forming one long line of golf buggies. <laughs> Oh dear, that was a bit of a fail, wasn't it? Come on, guys, you're meant to be hitmen for me. Uh, wow, they're useless. Look at them. Oh, brake! Why are the brakes so bad? Okay, here they come over the hill. That is really weird. There they come. Oh, oh, they're still stuck together. Wow, they really love like they form like a golf buggy train. What the heck is going on there? Oh, we're still kind of we're gonna run run rings around these guys quite literally yeah oh and that one's part of the ma <laughs> the massive train as well oh dear but i think you get the idea you can have a cool little chase with these golf buggies so to finish off i'm at the pure grid map i don't really play on this map very much in videos but i want to see the top speed of this thing it's the be best place to try it out so here we go the final thing is to find out the top speed of the race variant of the golf buggy the ibishu putteron here we go so there's 80 and third Straight forward. I don't know what car the engine's from. Is it from the race variant of the widget, maybe? Well, there's 140. It's only got five gears, but 150 miles per hour is pretty good. Oh, no, there's something in the way. Ooh, there we go. That was a big crash. A completely destroyed golf buggy. So let's loop around and do a quick crash test in slow motion. Here we go. Whoa, the turning is not good. Wow. There you go, into the, into the barrier. So I really, really enjoyed that. The mod links will be in the description below, both for this golf buggy and the Heaton Park map. Bang! It's a pretty good J-beam, isn't it? Now, there is a video on my channel of the Heaton Park map. You can click the video on screen right now to go and check that out. More BeamNG videos will be coming soon. I can't wait to try out this mod, maybe in multiplayer, that would be cool. And yeah, I'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures.